Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another update video. The latest update for Red Dead Online called Blood Money just went live and includes a whole bunch of new content for Red Dead Online. I'm going over the entire list of changes, so let's jump straight into it. Step into the burgeoning criminal underworld of Red Dead Online Blood Money and prove you're willing to get your hands dirty in service to some particularly notorious and well-connected members of Saint Denis. The Blood Money update starts with Crimes and Opportunities, a new way of earning money in Red Dead Online through mostly criminal activities or crimes. Crimes will range from cloak and dagger coach holdups to multi-stage robberies including kidnapping, brutal debt collections and more. Embark on crimes either as a lone ranger or with a full posse of cutthroats and there are multiple ways to find out about opportunities and to complete crimes including listening for things in the game world like NPC conversations or simply stumbling across vulnerable campsites in the wild. With your ill-gotten gains return to Guido Martelli for new rewards and unlock more opportunities. This is just the first of three opportunity updates arriving to Red Dead Online between now and the end of October to provide more things to do and earn money in the game. Next, the Quick Draw Club. The Quick Draw Club is a series of four distinct rapid fire passes arriving in consecutive installments over the coming months. Purchasing each membership entitles you to rewards, bonuses and items to help live life on the fringe of the law, starting with Dutch's outfit, the Redcliffe. With each consecutive pass you purchase, you're you'll earn additional perks and rewards for continuing the journey. Each pass will cost 25 gold bars, all of which you'll earn by completing the pass's 25 ranks. As an added bonus, players who purchase all four passes will also receive the upcoming Halloween 2 pass for free. So what's included? Pass 1 runs from July 13th to August 9th, and you can unlock Dutch's Redcliffe outfit, the White Church Cattleman revolver variant, Rushwood shirt, and the Firecroft hat. There's also other smaller rewards and gold for each of these passes. Pass 2 runs from August 10th to September the 6th and includes the Robero hat, Haverhill hat, and cartridge wraps. Pass 3 runs from September 7th through October 4th and includes the Beadnose sight, Bagshot knife, Liam jacket, and the Gallywood wraps. Lastly, Pass 4 arrives from October 5th straight through to October 27th and includes the Abara Mauser pistol variant, Hunting Duck Coat, Forester Poncho, and the Dunster Outfit. Next, some fan favourite items and features are returning. The Scale and Satchel pamphlet previously released via the Outlaw Pass, such as unlocking the ability to fast travel from a wilderness camp, will be placed on general sale at the fence. Plus, over the coming weeks and months, some of the most stylish and often requested clothes items from the Outlaw Pass 2 and 3 return for players who were unable to get them. These include outfits worn by the legendary members of the Vanderling Gang, like Marston's outfit, the Cleland Arthur's Haraway outfit, the Dedham outfit worn by Bill Williamson, and Javier's Zapatero outfit. Lastly then guys, as part of the July 13th update, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online on PC will offer NVIDIA DLSS support to all Windows users with eligible NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics cards. The newly supported feature boosts frame rates and generates better sharp images. And guys, that is everything that has changed in today's Red Dead Online Blood Money update. If you want to see straight to the point updates for all the biggest shooter games, no clickbait, no 10 minute videos of the same info over and over, just official news and updates as they happen, no matter how big or small, then subscribe and help to grow the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next update. Okay, bye.